Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today is going to be a little bit different. I want to talk about Ridley. So, we all know Ridley is the main antagonist of the Metroid uh, series. But a lot of people don't know that Ridley is like, uh, got a lot in common with the Xenomorph. Uh, if you don't know what a Xenomorph is, is uh, pretty much the aliens in Aliens, so <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. As you can see, the the thing that stick out most, as you will see, is uh, let me see if I can get as close as I yeah, that's the best I can get. The tail, the tail is almost the same exact tail as the Cinemorph compare uh, to it. Like if you see, it's the it's almost the same one. Even the details along the tail, all the scales, everything uh, kind of looks the same as the xenomorph. And I believe uh, it's, it wasn't like a copy of it. It was more like a tribute. I'm guessing the designer for Ridley uh, was a big fan of the Alien uh, series. Uh, well, I think the whole Metroid. Uh, series kind of tributes itself to the alien series. Uh, you can kind of see it on a Metroid uh, being the parasite and then the uh, what's it called uh, chest uh, burster and the and the thing before it the, the thing that go that wrap around the face. You know what I'm talking about. They kind of have some things in common too, but also like. Uh, can I can I rotate? I'm, I'm trying to. There we go. Alright. Also, the you can also see similarities in between the big uh, head and the xenomorph head. It's not the same same, but it's almost similar. Uh, uh, also, the claws and everything, and the mannerism also is a lot. Uh. uh close to the Cinemorph. Uh, also, uh, oh, I got a lot of Ridley with me. Nice. Also, you will see that the name Ridley is also like a tribute to the director and the producer for the Alien series, Ridley Scott. So, yeah, I, I don't doubt it that the, that the C, uh, Ridley series I mean, the Elliot series was a big influencer or a big uh... My bad. <coughs> I shocked myself. So, it was a big influence on the Metroid series. On um, a lot of aspects. I think uh, mostly being space and the enemies, if you go back to the series, to the movies, the, the Metroid itself, it doesn't look like the, the, the Hogger itself, but the, the fact that both are parasites, it kind of plays a lot of, a lot of co coincidence between uh, Metroid and the Alien series. Also, uh, the color is kind of similar uh, between the models that they use. I would say the the main uh, thing that differentiates it is basically the wings. But you can see the the head looks kind of like it. It's like big, long. Uh, the tail is like a dead giveaway. You can see a lot of similarities between the tail. Uh, the batteries, uh, they're straight savage, but at the, at, the, at the same time, they have, they're extremely uh, intelligent. Because really, is the king of the space pirates. There you go. That's, uh, that's one of the things that I love about the Matrix series. The lore, the sh uh, whoa. The Shoso uh, statue, everything. Like, uh, 
the show also kind of looks like uh, kind of the same thing as uh, it's not almost the same. Uh, it kind of plays like uh, the creators in the Alien Covenant. They kind the suits that the creator use kind of have like a show so look like kind of feel into it. Um, if you think about it, the Covenant came like a long way uh, after the Matrix series. Uh, started. Uh, let me give me a second. I, I gotta do this. Uh, okay, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, man, it's like I definitely love the the tribute they did with uh with that. It's like a fun Easter egg kind of. Uh, Also, uh, if you uh, if you look at the fact that Samus Aaron and uh, you know everyone, uh, Samus Aaron uh, was one of the first, I think, females to be like a main story female. It's like uh, kind of similar to the Alien movie that had like a main protagonist being a, a female that took on on the aliens, right? So it's kind of like similar the way that she destroyed the aliens as Samus, Samus Aaron destroys this world. She doesn't destroy it because it really always co comes back. But you, you you know what I'm trying to say, right? The uh, alien has a main female protagonist and then Metroid has the same uh, issue. I think that's cool. Uh... Wait, I forgot how to do this. Uh, okay, so I got what? Okay, so if I destroy that one, I can go up and get the other one, right? Yeah, that's how it is. I just wanted to bring you guys uh, this detail. I find it kind of fun, kind of interesting uh, how a lot of movies influence uh, the way games uh, actually get developed um, vice versa because a lot of a lot of games actually inf influence movies too well yeah that's a kind of like a little easter easter egg that I want to share with you guys uh, along the gameplay with the new game hard mode plus so yeah I mean I hope you guys like it uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, there we go. The, cru the creature at the flea meta. I guess it's Castlevania series. Um, I'm thinking of making more of this series, like more uh, behind the scenes, uh, more behind the story. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more or what character would you like to know more about. Uh, I will work on it. Giant me brother. Ooh. He got the Jason mask. That's kinda cool. He goes perfect with the setting with the movies and shit. Holy shit. Let's go. Let's go. Oh uh uh. If you want me to like uh, go, uh, holy sh shit! If you want me to go down to the uh, specifics of like the reference, what really got the moves and everything, let me know down below too. I can do that too. I would like to do that. So let me know. Uh, but before I finish this episode, I want to finish this battle. So let's do this. Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, Bokey Boy. Victory! 
there we go all right guys that's gonna be everything for this video i will see you guys on the next episode uh let me know if you want to see or know or know more about the lore of each character on the background let me know down below don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and share this video. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.